Hello, my name's Kevin Saris. I'm from Air Hairdressing in Malvern, and today we're going to do some long hair up techniques. Um, we've got Roseanne here, who's got beautifully um, naturally curly hair, but what we've done today is we've decided to tong it through with some ceramic tongs to give it a lot more structure. Again, it's brought out the shine and the colour, which is beautiful as well. For this hair up, we want to go for a romantic fairy tale feel. So it's going to be kind of very floaty and very soft. So from Rosanna's hair, I want to try and get two looks out of the hair for you. One is half up and half down, and the other, I'm going to put the back sections up, which are left down, to go for a full hair up look. Let me just turn this chair around for you. I'm going to start on the crown sections. Thanks, Sam, let me bring this round. And because the hair's been tongued first, it gives us such lovely structure. So we want to create a little bit of height, first of all. So literally, I'm just taking up the tongue sections. I've got my thumb. I'm going to create like a barrel curl. Got my grip. Then with the excess, I'm going to pin that again so it looks like a knot. Again, I've got another grip. Got my thumb just in the base of the head. I'm going to push that grip up. Okay, next section. Again here. When I tong the hair, it creates a lot of drag, so there's not too much root lift in this top section, which is which will aid to give you that sleek appearance on the top. So again, I'm just going to curl that back to the root. Going to use the grip. Got the excess. Going to take that back and do a second loop. So you can see our height starting to build into the hair. And the lovely thing is that the, because the hair is pre-tongued, it um, it seals. If the hair is naturally curly, it seals any frizzy. It seals any frizzy ends down. But what I love about this, it almost, the hair looks kind of woven almost, which I'll show you a little bit of that later. Okay, so I'm just working through the back of the hair now. Again, Always make sure that you can feel the thumb on the back of the head before you put the grip in, because otherwise you're, you're gripping into midair and the hair will just tend to sort of drop out. Again, I've got the excess hair. Second roll back to the root. Okay, when I'm coming through these side sections, I'm just going to start to weave them slightly. Actually, at this point, I'm just going to use a tiny bit of hairspray as well, just to secure the sections. Which I'll just come out. Just with your hairspray back over that section, it just gives you that smoothness. Again, going for that braided look just through the sides, only very gently. Just to place that up, and again, I'm coming pretty far around the back of the hair to secure that in. Okay, again, with the Kirby grip, with the thumb. Again, that looks beautiful through the sides. You can just start to see that woven look through there. It gives you that, that loose but nice. It's, it's still very secure as well. And that's so important with bridal hair. The bride feels that the hair is secure, but it doesn't, again, look too contrived. So 
but the colours are just stunning. I always feel in, in bridal hair it's so important that you have a set of highlights through the hair, especially having it tonged before, um, before the day, because you can see this creates such a lot of texture. I've done brides in the past where the hair's all been one colour, and equally it looks nice, but you lose some of the texture here. So you can see some where you're kind of weaving some of the, the lighter areas in with the darker areas. It just looks beautiful, so that's something always to remember. Okay. So final sections. What I did when I was tonguing this earlier, we, did, we took some fine sections through the front so we could just incorporate so there's a, little bit of an, there's a little bit of a fringe or a layer in there. So I'm um, just going to incorporate that. So again, as always, push and brush. Smooth with the hairspray. Hairspray once again. Again, just gently. Let's plait that over. And we just found another little gap just through the side where my thumb is, just to place that final section. Okay. Again, just any little grips you just want to make sure they just vanish into the hair. Okay, just before I'm going to put the tiara in, I'm just going to spin the chair around just to show a final look for you. So as you can see, we used all the natural curl that we had before and we dressed it with the tongs and that's given it a really nice kind of clean look. Again, it's brought all the curl out. Taking those top sections up and just gently just grip them up so again it, it doesn't look too contrived, not too many grips. We've only used a handful of grips ready to put that up. Um, again, we've woven these sections through the sides, which they almost look like plaits. We didn't want them to be too tight onto the head either, but you could do if you wanted to. But for this style, I just wanted it a little bit softer, a little bit looser, so it gave the impression of plaits without being too plaited, too close to the head. Um, and when I tongued the hair, I said about creating some drag at the roots. We didn't too much too, too much root lift. So you can see why now. So this, again, this still lies quite nice and close to the head at the, at the top. Again, through the sides. So it's a really, really, I mean, pretty, pretty fairy tale wedding look. Again, this would go with your floaty dress with lots of layers. Um, and I think it would just sort of look really, really lovely. Okay, I'm just gonna place the tiara in there for you. Again, usually it's nice with the tiara to, just to kind of sit it in, just in front of where you've got the height, really. So again, got this tiara, and then you just take the ends, just literally pop it in. Okay. Just make sure, there we go. Again, that's nice, because it's not got too much height in. Let's just give it a little check. Make sure that's straight on there. The tire just has a little bit of height to it as well. That looks lovely. Sometimes what you can do as well around these back sections, is you can also see where the tiara goes, just disappears into the hair as well. So if we were, if we were doing it for real, what I tend to do is I tend to put two grips either side just to hold the tiara in on the day. So that's our, um, that's our half up and half down look.